The plasma membrane is a biological membrane that separates the interior of a cell from its outside environment. It protects the cell from its external environment, mediates cellular transport, and transmits cellular signals. The cell is represented by a castle. The plasma membrane is the wall that provides structure for the buildings inside the wall, regulates which people leave and enter the castle, and conveys messages to and from neighboring castles. Just as a hole in the wall can be a disaster for the castle, a rupture in the plasma membrane causes the cell to lies and die. The plasma membrane consists of a phospholipid bilayer, proteins embedded in the phospholipid bilayer, carbohydrates, some attached to proteins forming glycoproteins, others attached to lipids forming glycolipids. Cholesterol, embedded in the inner part of phospholipid bilayer. A phospholipid is a lipid made of glycerol, two fatty acid tails, and a phosphate-linked head group. Biological membranes usually involve two layers of phospholipids with their tails pointing inward, an arrangement called a phospholipid bilayer. Because the head groups are hydrophilic so they move towards water outside and inside the cell. While the two tail groups are hydrophobic so they move away from water towards the center of the bilayer. This phenomenon causes formation of phospholipid bilayer. Proteins are the second major component of plasma membranes. There are two main categories of membrane proteins, integral and peripheral. Integral proteins embedded in the phospholipid bilayer may or may not extend through both layers. Peripheral proteins on the inner or outer surface of the phospholipid bilayer, but not embedded in its hydrophobic core. Carbohydrates are the third major component of plasma membranes. Carbohydrates attach to proteins or lipids on the extracellular side of the membrane, forming glycoproteins and glycolipids. Cholesterol, tucked between the hydrophobic tails of the membrane phospholipids. It helps to minimize the effects of temperature on fluidity. At low temperatures, cholesterol increases fluidity by keeping phospholipids from packing tightly together, while at high temperatures, it actually reduces fluidity. The movement of a substance across the selectively permeable plasma membrane can be either passive, that is, occurring without cellular energy, or active, that is, its transport requires cellular energy. The cell employs a number of transport mechanisms that involve biological membranes. Passive osmosis and diffusion, transports gases, such as O2 and CO2, and other small molecules and ions. Transmembrane protein channels and transporters, transport small organic molecules such as sugars or amino acids. Endocytosis, transports large molecules, or even whole cells, by engulfing them. Exocytosis, removes or secretes substances such as hormones or enzymes outside the cell. Every cell in the body has an ID card, represented in cell membrane receptors. These receptors made of proteins or carbohydrates. These receptors help the body to recognize its cells and help hormones and other cells to act on the cell, to produce specific response. 